All right, so we are going to Artist right now. Brian just picked me up. And we're using the pontoon. That sexy pontoon. All right, so we're going to Artist today and we will be doing an ice fishing rod challenge. And hopefully we catch fish because it's gonna be kind of difficult to set the hook on some big fish with an ice fishing rod. So best of luck to us. Alright, so we're at Artist. Brian's getting everything done. He's a little pissed at me because this is how much gear I bring. And there's him. The two giant bags. You just never know what's gonna happen in this fall fishing condition. So I, I bring as much as possible. I need a bass boat to put all this stuff in. I understand. Anyway, let's go. Alright, we're all ready. We're gonna hit the lake right now. Let's go catch some fish. All right, we're on the lake. We're here, we're gonna try to figure out what these fish are actually biting. It's pretty cool. We had some warm days before, and uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna- It was 70 yesterday. Yeah. So we're gonna figure out what they're hitting and catch some fish. Right, Brian? That's the plan. <laughs> I'm into a fish. Oh, it's a good bass. Holy crap. <laughs> this fish is bigger than the freaking rod. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I'm into a freaking, look at this fish. Ice fishing rod and I caught a bass. Nice bass. Biggest bass of the day so far. On a little square bill crankbait. Yo, I didn't even feel that fish on. Look at that. Nice fish frozen. Let's get the release. Success. Got a crappy. There you go. Nice. Got my little Shakespeare. To be honest, I didn't expect this to uh, to like work. I didn't. I didn't think we'd be able to set the hooks well, but so far we have. Brian's got a little jointed rapala on, and I'm using a little red and uh, clear shark chartreuse. Yeah. Red and clear, he's into another fish. I'm just gonna put the camera down. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go catch more fish. Ooh, nice bass. All right, another bass on the ice fishing rod. Not as big as Polly's, but nice fish, cold. All right, guys, I mean, I, I caught a fish and Brian decided he wanted to hook me, but look at this, he hooked himself. Fortunately, I'm wearing enough layers where I didn't feel it. <laughs> where'd, where'd the lure go? Oh, you're stuck in here. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Zoom. All right, update. We, uh, after that last fish, we haven't caught a fish in, uh, how long would you like to say? 12 hours? <laughs> we haven't caught a fish in a while. We've been switching out a lot of lures. At least I have. I've been throwing uh, jumbo baits and little uh, shaky heads, other crankbaits, spinners, inline spinners, and spinner baits. Um, nothing is catching fish. So uh, we're just gonna keep grinding. I got a little tiny inline spinner on right now. I think it's a Panther Martin. 
I don't know, there could be a brand that looks like it, but we're gonna try to catch some more fish. We're on the side where there's no, or very little wind, and hopefully this is where the fish are. It might be a little bit warmer over here too. Where's Brian? How am I covering Brian? Oh. I'm into another fish. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Holy shoot, dude! Yes. Yeah, freaking huge! Holy crap! Dude! Oh my gosh! Dude, on a freaking ice fishing rod. Guys, check that out, man. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking tank. Look at the lure I caught that on. No way did I think that was a big bass. Oh my gosh. Barely hooked. Dude, that this is a weight fish, man. <laughs> this has weight to it. All right, let's release this fish. And uh, let's catch some more. That's crazy, guys. Oh my gosh. Is that a bass? Yeah. Look at the size of the lure I was using. That's the smallest lure. I did not, I thought it was a crappie. I'm like, finally, I got a crappie. Dang, let's go catch some more. Well. It seems as if the fish are nowhere near the edges of this lake. So we're gonna go work the middle again and see if we can catch some fish down in the deeper areas. I think the edge bite might be done till spring. Yeah. Got him to the boat, man. <laughs> That's a nice pickerel. On a Senko, wacky rig Senko. Bully said it couldn't be done, so I had to do it. The number's going? Yeah. It's a nice little bass. I was gonna bend over, but I couldn't. I had, whatever. <laughs> hey, brought him to the boat. Pulled a Brian, but was no giant. Maybe a pound and a half, but that's fishing. Let's go catch some more. <laughs> oh, that's why I ripped it out of the water. <laughs> Got a little micro bass over here. So small. I ripped him out of the water. <laughs> okay. Let's go catch bigger ones. Got him on a uh, Vibrex Blue Fox in fluorescent orange. Nice bass. It's a long fish. Make sure the number's He's in the weeds. Oh. Yo, I ain't even hooked into him. Nope, you snagged him. Yo, he has pathetic colors. Quick release. in the mouth. Here we go. I really don't want to touch him, but... There we go. He let himself go. It's a good day. It's a good day. Very good day. Snot rockets. Bring him over. Bring him over. He's not ready.
Alright, there's the there's the ice not ice the bucket ice bucket challenge. challenge. The ice fishing, ice rod fishing, ice fishing rod. This freaking little thing. <laughs> it's this little thing challenge. We're using these little tiny rods. Look at the size of this bass. Mine's bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was a little bigger, but this is a beautiful fish. It's beautiful, man. In the deep water here. As deep as this could be. <laughs> the deep water, it's like five feet here. <laughs> Nice, beautiful fish. All right. Mm. Goodbye. It seems to be that the little lures today are catching the big fish. It was a little spinner for me, and then the little uh, rip and wrap for Brian. And you have red on, right? Yep. So it seems to be the little guys that are working with these little rods. There you go, nice thick chain pickerel. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet fish. Woo. GoPro got a whole crotch shot on that one. <laughs> that uh, chain pickerel I caught, I switched over to a, I switched over to a Strike King red-eyed shad in like orange, bronze, red color, and uh, that's what caught that big pickerel. Brian's <laughs> over there squeaking up a storm on. Uh, you still throw on the ribbon wrap, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're in the deep area. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to keep going for this uh, red-eyed shad. In cold times like this, what you want to look for is structure. You know, you got wood, you got uh, weeds, you got the reeds over there. But most importantly, trash bags. They hold warmth and they magnify the warmth underneath them. And that's where the fish are going to be. Watch and learn. I'm just kidding. That they're they're a repellent of fish. Do not fish anywhere near a garbage bag because you will not catch fish. I got this. I'm strong. So the ice rod challenge is over. I think it was a good success as opposed to a bad success. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm editing this video and I'm finishing it. And and I realized I didn't finish or conclude the video. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. If you want to see more challenges, comment below what you want to see and then we'll try to, our best to do them. Anyway, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, go check out the rest of the channel. The channel has some really cool videos. Just click below, get real bass fishing, that whole thing underneath this video. You'll see more of our videos. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, until next time, stay real. Good luck fishing.